Agave takes an astonishing six to ten years to mature. The agave is selected at its peak sugar level and harvested by skilled workers called himadors using an ancient tool called a koa. The spiky leaves, called penkas, are removed leaving the heart or piña of the agave. The highlands of Jalisco, known as Los Altos, is considered the premier growing region for Weber Blue Agave because of the area's unique iron-rich soil. The piñas are transported to the hacienda where the process of turning the agave into tequila begins. Cooking. The harvested piñas are split into quarters and loaded into small traditional brick ovens. Modern tequila makers use large industrial steam ovens called autoclaves, saving time and cutting costs, but producers such as Patron do not use this method. The agave is slow roasted in batches for a minimum of 72 hours, during which time the starch in the agave, called inulin, will unfold into the sugars that are the basis of tequila. The agaves are cooked at an exact temperature in a slow bake process, keeping the sugars from caramelizing. They emerge sweet, rich and delicious, ready for the next step, crushing. After cooking, the agave are crushed to make their sugars available for fermentation. The traditional method is to use a heavy volcanic stone wheel called a tahona. An alternative method is using a roller mill to extract the juice from the agave. The sweet, fructose-laden syrup is collected and stored in holding tanks, awaiting fermentation. During the fermentation process, the agave sugars are transformed into the alcohol that will become tequila. The juice and syrup extracted from the cooked, crushed agave is mixed with water and yeast. This mixture, called fresh mosto, is placed in pine fermentation tanks for up to 72 hours. Master distillers monitor fermentation using state-of-the-art tools and the classic artisan way, taste, smell and sight. The yeast will convert the sugars into alcohol, carbon dioxide and flavoring agents. Fermentation solution, the result is about 3% alcohol and is called dead mosto. The dead mosto produced during fermentation is pumped into traditional handmade copper pot stills. During distillation, the tequila is boiled and condensed to refine and concentrate the proof of the spirit. First destination is called Primario. It produces a sweet low alcohol brew called Ordinario. During the second distillation, Ordinario is separated into three parts, hearts, heads and tails. Only the hearts are selected to be included in Patron tequila. Perfection is crucial at this point in the process. Only the skill of the master distiller will determine the quality of the spirit. Crystal clear when it leaves the spirit is now ready to be bottled. Aged tequilas, reposados and añejos will rest in oak barrels where they acquire a golden color and a pleasant mellow flavor. Reposado is aged for a minimum of two months and a maximum of 12. It is blended to incorporate the fresh clean taste of silver tequila with a hint of the oak flavor found in Añejo. Reposado is excellent as a sipping tequila and makes an extraordinary ultra-premium margarita. Añejo tequila is a delicate blend of uniquely aged tequilas, all aged for a minimum of 12 months. Its warm, deep flavors of caramel and oak are enjoyed best by sipping slowly. It takes agave this sweet. It takes our unique blend of time-honored and state-of-the-art techniques it takes time, heart and skill to make the number one ultra-premium tequila in the world.